Hi, this is Chris Gould with a quick tip about printing mailing labels. If you use Google Contacts and you have entered the addresses in city, states, and zips correctly, you can export them and use the avery.com website to arrange them into labels that will print exactly on Avery labels. Let me show you how. First is where are your Google contacts? Well, if you sign in to your Gmail, and this is a test account I'm looking at, in the upper left hand corner you should see a drop down arrow and contacts. Now, at the time of this recording, November of 2017, there is an old version and a new version. On this screen, I'm looking at the new version, and there's a bit of a problem with it. In the new version, if you click on a person and click on Edit, I can't find any way to separate the city, state, and zip and address fields into separate fields, and that is important for doing labels. But in the old version, it works just fine. So I say go to the old version over here at the bottom left. Now we're looking at the same people's names and addresses. This is just a little dummy set of data I have, and now under the address there's three dots and you have separate fields for street, city, state, and zip. That's what you need. Make sure all your data is entered that way. If it is, then while you're looking at your total list of contacts, you click on More and Export. And the best way I've found is using the Outlook CSV. Click Export. I and make sure you know where this is getting saved. I'm going to call it Chris's Mail Labels. And that makes a CSV file. If you're using Chrome, it shows up in the lower left, and we need to open it up to clean up some columns. All we need is the name and the address, city, state, and zip. Make sure to delete all the other columns. We don't need emails. We don't need phone numbers. All we need is those fields that have the address, city, state, and zip. And these en got entered under the other address, other street, other zip. Also, the fields afterwards. If it, further on in the process you get a message saying the file is too big, it's because you did not delete some of these columns. We want it to be left with just the columns that we need. Now you close and save this. Next step is to go to avery.com and custom printing. I want rectangular labels scroll down and pick the one pick the size you want whatever Avery labels that you have purchased and then you pick a format now you can you can just pick a blank label that's what I'm going to do and now import your data you're not going to type all those names and addresses again you already have them browse for file and there they are. We do not want to print this first row because it's not a person with an address and it looks like we still have two that the address didn't get in the right place so we're not going to print those and then click Next. Now create your labels. You just drag your names over Press enter to go to the next line. Street. There we go. And enter. And city. And comma. And space. And state. And space. And postal code. Click next. And there's some other editing you can do here, but I'm just going to finish. And there is one. If it looks good, you can click Next and you will see all your labels. Then you can view a PDF proof 
and from here you can follow the instructions to have them print it for you or you can just print it right here to your own printer or download it to your computer for printing later. And that's my tip for printing mailing labels.